Assalamu alaikum viewers in previous video you have learnt about how to download and install microsoft office and a short introduction about ms word today we are going to learn how to work on ms word to start microsoft word type word in search box here you see word just click on it ms word will open click on blank document and this is the interface of ms word in front of you here you type something i purposely misspell some words later i will tell you how to spell check using different functions this is the ribbon and these are the tabs file insert design layout etc click on file tab here is the option of save save command is used when you save your file first time and save as command is used to save a revised document now click on save choose the location where you want to save the file I save the file on desktop. Click on desktop. Write the name of your file and click on save. Now we will check our file on destination. Here is the file. Double click on it. It will open your file. Now add something new here. now this time if you click on save when you click on save it will not display the dialog box where you select the location and type the name and if you choose save as it will display the dialog box where you choose the location and type the name of file you can also click on save on quick access toolbar to save your file now we are going to format the font size and type for this purpose you have to select the line or paragraph you wish to format then select font type size and color you can also bold italic and underline your text after that you can insert header and footer in your document just click on insert click on header and footer in your document select any header st style I choose blank Here you type the name then hit enter key 
then add today's date by clicking on date and time select the format and click ok today's date will insert finally finally click on close header and footer you can add space between lines and paragraphs of your documents for this select the paragraph click on home tab click paragraph dialog box in the line spacing section adjust your spacing accordingly click on ok you can also choose spacing option from here word will preview your how your paper will look you can modify your page margin for this click on layout click here you can see the page margins here choose your desired margin or you can click custom margin list allows you to organize text with number or bullets for this click on this arrow on in home tab click on this arrow you can insert bullets or you can add numbers There are many features to proofread your document including spelling and grammar, thesaurus and word count. Click the review tab. Click on spelling and grammar. Here you can see all spelling mistakes. Just click on change. It will correct all the spelling mistakes. at the end this dialog box will appear spelling and grammar check is complete now click on okay word count feature is used to count the words in your documents for this select the line or paragraph you can see 10 words are selected in status bar you can insert image in your document click on insert then click on pictures select the picture in your computer and click on insert the picture will insert in your document you can also add table in your document for this click on insert then click on table here you select rows and columns you want to insert and click okay 
क्लिक ऑन इंजर्ट टेबल राइट द नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स एंड नंबर ऑफ रोज एंड क्लिक ओके The blank page command allows you to manually insert a blank page in your document. To insert a blank page, click on Insert. Then click on Blank Page. It will insert a blank page here. Similarly, if you want to page break. anywhere in your document just click on page break it will break your page and the cursor will move to the next page you can also add a cover page in your document just click on it select any format look at this this is the cover page of your document you can print your page by clicking on file click on print you can also select the page orientation portrait landscape page size and page margins here after that if you want to close your file just click on file and click on close a message box will appear here want to save your changes to ms word save or don't save if you don't want to save just click on don't save and if you want to save this just click on save